huh? How is this a bisexual reaction? What does that mean? How is that different from all other reactions? I have no idea. We're going to find out together. Hi, welcome to another episode of Yes, Please, M More Bisexuals. My name is Noah. I am a big fan of the Scum franchise. I just want to lead with that. I watched season three of this show. As much as I thought that season three was fine, it didn't really... I wasn't as engaged with it. Since season six came out, I believe, a ton of people that were posting left and right just trying to tell me that there are lesbians here. Yeah, I think that that was enough reason to convince me. I mean, there's that. And also just like I'm never not looking for other things to watch, especially if it's Women Love Women. I don't know why. Like, I feel like Women Love Women series and shows, it's so easy to fuck that up. So I'm always on the hunt for women pairing centered show or movie because not only is it rare it's also rare to get one that's good i also wanted to quickly thank these people these wonderful wonderful beautiful member nipples that have kept the channel going and have helped me out i'm now ready to be unhealthily attached to fictional characters which is the name of my game i forgot about this it's been a while since i've seen any shows within the scum franchise and one of the most notable things, apart from really good acting, editing, is that the music is slappy pappy, you know? Colors are really cool. We enjoy that. I love colors. <laughs> this is really good commentary already. Oh, also, I don't know if this has been made clear, but obviously I did not watch four or five. Yeah, that's it. That's how you count, because this one is six. So if these are characters that have already existed in the universe, I'm not familiar with them. There's probably going to be edited out the music, but... Trust me, it's really good. Kumi's all here. Kumi? Okay. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> all right. I love magic. Du bist offiziell jetzt die WG Mami. Ja. Und die Cash Queen Mami. <laughs> ich freue mich aber so sehr darauf, einfach so stundenlang hier besoffen mit euch zu fahren. <gasps> me too. Oh shit. Because I'm loving the vibe of this apartment. I love the Cash Queen's headquarters kind of setting. That's cute. Love that. It implies that they are queens. I do not know if they have cash. It's interesting. She mentioned a name earlier. Kumi? Who is that? Oh, hello. Lots of tension already. I, I like that. Also, we have the shaky cam, so you know something's about to go down. Ding. Auf dem skateboard. Ah. Was ist das? The um, God of Gayness. Oh, okay. Dann können deren Organe nachwachsen. Oh, like I said, the God of Gayness. Kann ich mal? Hier auf dem Skateboard, aber ah. kann ja nicht so schwer sein, oder? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but um, some people train for years, girl. Nimmst du so Anlauf? I love that. You know, like any way to immediately create some sort of sexual chemistry or whatever between two characters is just have one of them curiously ask about what the other is interested in and then have that character ask them, could you maybe teach me how to... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I love that. Like, this is just me maybe mindlessly pointing out tropes that you yourself are already familiar with. But I just want to say that I love it. I like that trope. I think it's it can be really well done. It can be super effective and cute. And I mean, it's a trope and a cliche for a reason. It happens in real life. This is a move. This is really cute, though. All of that's oh, OK. Perfect. A little bit of touching. <laughs> it's like I'm scoring. A sports event. All right, 10 out of 10 for the touch. Good, good move. Um, we're moving on. They're continuing to talk. They're walking. Kumi comes in with something that's going to cut the tension, maybe? Oh. Okay. That didn't. All right. It just She just ended it. I wonder what the conflict is going to be for the two of them. I'm excited. I will still watch it regardless, just because I know I've only known her for seven minutes. Coming in on eight. And I'm talking about Fatu. Fatu. However, I am hoping that the both of them are established and out. And this isn't going to be a whole questioning thing about like each other's sexuality. I feel like we've done that. But like season three of Scum has already gone over that. And so to take that route again, I feel would be repetitive. So I'm just hoping that these two have maybe a different conflict. Oh, oh she's glasses. Cute. Then when is Tag zusammen verdient? 
Dann so 50 Euro pro Person. But she's so pretty. Fafa. Oh, we have COVID in this universe. Sorry. Oh, hi. Oh, she knows. They know. What is that? Okay, I'm gauging that maybe there's a little bit of history there. And also from this scene, I'm also getting that. And I don't know if it's going to come up in, in later episodes, but it does look like Fafa Chibi Fatu. <laughs> she has such cute nicknames. She's maybe not doing very well in school. She skipped math today, didn't do the homework. Now she's hungry. Uh, honestly, a vibe. What is that? Did they capture something? Can you keep the turtle? Why is... Why did you... Oh, that's so cute. She knows what's up. A natural caregiver. That's adorable. I like that about you, Fatu. Did everyone else fall in love with her this quickly? Because the fuck? Even for me, this is too fast. What? Yeah, okay, I'll take him. Now to quickly sum up, for the plot, we currently have an adorable protagonist who is soft all around and also enjoys creatures that regrow their organs and parts whenever it's cut off. That's good. We have Kumi, who is a mystery. Not really sure what the deal is there. Maybe a little bit of history. Or maybe it's just that Fatou has liked her for a while. And now we also have Turtle. Which one of these plot points interests me the most? Obviously. It's not the turtle. <laughs> yeah, Eva? Oh. Um, so Tafel? Nee. Oh, she tried. Towards? Genau. Kumi is smart. Uh, Thinking that Kumi is one of the popular Tafel, ones, that's just the vibe that I'm getting. Oh shit, we're gonna have the talk with our teacher with a mustache. Huh? What does that mean? She looks really worried about that. She could get a tutor? Kumi could tutor her? Hold on. Yeah, because if you're falling back on your classes, that's not a bad thing. Like, the education system is faulty as fuck. But that doesn't mean that you can't skate by it, that you can't do anything about it. You most definitely can. Also, no, I think we've established a timeline. Something that we're working towards is like her presentation in January. That's pretty good. This is einfach a statement gegen diesen ganzen scheiß Schuldruck. Thank you for your work on Sunday, but unfortunately, there are 50 euros missing in your billing. Wir reden über Boys und Saufen. Just guys? Or? Oh. Was? Oh. I didn't even yeah. consider the possibility of Kumi being straight. Well, she's probably not going to be straight, though, right? Is she going to be bi? That'd be better. One of us. Alessandro. Okay, let's hear a girl's name. Oh, did you not? No? Did we just find out today that she's bi? I love that. <laughs> Suddenly, with the realization for all of us that, oh, there's a queer person here, more than one. Lil Nas comes on. <laughs> Checks out. Makes sense. I like it. I like it a lot more than I expected, honestly. And yeah, I'm going to continue watching. And if you guys enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and encourage me to keep doing this because I'm very sensitive and I need positive reinforcement in order to go on.